Good morning, Gina. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? Fantastic. You have been so brilliant to watch. I mean, you, you are definitely setting a path that is going to inspire others to follow as well as become followers of you as listeners. Mm, thank you so much. To be on this journey, I mean, I talked with you all the way back to the second week of, of, of NBC's The Voice. I mean, that's when things were just starting out. But now you you have grown. You're wiser. You're stronger. Your, your courage, your confidence is through the roof. Yeah, it's, it's been a really transformative time for me throughout this process. Um, and I never expected it to go this far, so I'm just really grateful to be here and grateful for all the things that have happened. You lifted the game. Uh, I mean, when, when social media was writing all over the place during this, this, this process, I mean, the, your name was always coming up. And I just and I kept telling my wife that, that you were raising the bar on this competition. Oh, thank you. That's really nice of you to say. You, um, do, do you owe sorry. a lot of that credit to everything that you were doing in high school? Because, I mean, you, you, you have been playing this game for a very, very long time. I don't know about a very, very long time. I'm, I'm not not that old, you know. <laughs> but I've just been working and, and trying my best to hone in on my craft and and get in there. But I think throughout the competition, I just tried to, to do my best, and I, I always want to put on the best performances that I can. When 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 you were crowned the, the champion, I, I was I was cheering also for Niall because I because he's been on this game before and and he understands a competition show and and what a, what a great way for him to start off a, a brand new life, uh, helping people discover their their inner artist and music. Mm, yeah, it's super cool, and he he's been a great coach and a great friend, so he's he's really awesome. Did you get to document this in, in journal form and in, in writing so that you can come back to this and learn? Because I, I'm just one of those freaks that likes to take a lot of notes. <laughs> I should have journaled. I really should have. I know some people at the competition did, and I really should have hopped on board at the time. But I just, I just felt like I didn't have enough time in my day. The, but I'm sure you took a ton of pictures where you could sit there and look at the pictures and know exactly what was taking place. Oh, yeah. I, I have so many pictures, so I'm good in that department. How how has winning uh, affected your dedication and loyalty now? In, because, I mean, to get there took enough. But but now, I mean, it's like you're on a whole completely different platform that's that's going to really kind of put you in different circles now. Yeah, um, it's it's really insane, the opportunity that I feel like I've been given. And I just want to make the most of it. Um it's really cool. I'll, t- I'll tell you one thing that I, I, one of the re- ways that I, that I knew that you won the competition was because on my own platforms, the analytics were showing your name all over the place. I can't imagine what your social media connections are doing today, because if they're blowing up my numbers, what are they doing to your numbers? <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's just crazy to me that that anybody cares at all. I know I know it sounds silly, but I just never expected people to. To, to care about it. So I'm just happy that everyone's seeming to have a good time. How do you keep your feet on the ground? I mean, because that's one of the main things that I've learned with, with being with creative people is that, you know, you, you've got to, you've got to stay, you know, humble as well as you've got to be, you know, in the community. And, and, and even though you, you won the competition, you, you're, you're still you, you're still Gina. <laughs> it's all my family. I, I just, I'm constantly talking to them and, and talking with them about everything and, and keeping myself um, myself. Now, now, when when the competition, when you were crowned, I mean, it's like, I, I can't imagine being on that stage. It was it so surreal. How did you digest that moment? Because, I mean, to be up there, oh, the cheering, the lights, the confetti, everything was happening all at once. It was the fireworks for me. I was like, what is happening right now? <laughs> <laughs> it was really insane. Um, but I, I didn't. I, I still don't feel like I'm, I'm fully all the way there yet. I just am like, still in shock. And every time people are like, "You won," I'm like, "Did I?" <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's happening. I'm just excited to, to be here. <laughs> it's like trying to wake up from a dream. Is this really happening? Am, am I, or am I just dreaming? Come on, come on, come on! I should be waking up any time now. This isn't really happening, is it? 
Seriously. <laughs> was it like winning a lottery where it's like you, you have you, your hopes, but you don't want to get your hopes up too high, but yet at the same time, you just have this feeling inside your soul that, wow, this, this really could be it. I don't, I don't know. I just, I felt like it, I didn't even think about it as like, a, like an actual possibility. Like, of course, like when I made it to the top five, I was like, okay, I'm getting kind of close right now, but I didn't think that it would actually happen to me. So I, I was very taken aback when it did. What do you teach those that are going to take the chances on the next season? I mean, because, I mean, they're always they're going to be reaching out to you through social media or just on the everyday street. They're going to be asking questions. Gina, how, how do I handle this? What what can I do for this? I think it would be so cool if, if anyone wanted to, to ask my advice. Not that I, I really know anything, but I would definitely be down to help anybody going through this competition. And I think it's a silly piece of advice, but make friends on other teams <laughs> because it was really difficult like going up against your best friends and, and people because I made most of my closest friends on my team so it was a little bit difficult going up against them I was going to ask you about that did you create any friendships that are going to reach well beyond this I mean 25 30 years from now you're still friends with somebody that you competed against absolutely this is like I made some of my best of friends from this experience and met the coolest people in my life. You know, it's it's one thing to go to the internet and, and see your video. Is there is there a piece of your heart that's going, okay, okay, the videos are fine, but I want to hear my voice on that radio. I, I want to be heard on Spotify, iHeartRadio. I want to be heard in those locations. Yeah, of course. I I want people to hear my songs too, like and, and things that I, I genuinely have to say do, do you know what genre you want to check out or is it because we're in this modern day generation where we can go in any direction what what genre would you like for sound i feel like it's it's easier for people to be able to identify you with like with the genre so, so i just say pop because i feel like it encompasses the most of the things that i would like to do and and songwriting is going to be important for you isn't it absolutely i i i would love to write my own things and, and keep my own sound you know yeah 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 because you do have that sound and and i love me some taylor swift but what i love about you is that you are you and and that's the kind of voice that i need right now as a listener is when when i hear your voice i'm gonna go oh that's gina oh i know that voice from anywhere (laughs) thank you so so in this direction that you're walking now now that you you have won nbc's the voice what do you do on an average day now? When, when I mean, because I mean, this this has been a couple of days now. I mean, do do you still go to the grocery store? I mean, are, are, are because you, I mean, people have got to be recognizing you. Okay, truth be told, I really don't get recognized, and if I do, um, nobody says anything to me. <laughs> so like, I, I I'm just hanging out, doing my normal dues and and everything. So you- it's not for me right now. Your performance throughout the actual, I should say, the performances, it always takes me back to the original audition because, you know, to step out there on that stage with, with those chairs turned around and now look at where all the chairs are turned around looking at you. We're looking at you. We're listening to you. I'm, but it all started when everybody had their backs turned to you and you had to come out there and sing that song. Mm-hmm. That, that was a really cool experience, but I was really really nervous uh, for that what what is the first step now when it when it comes to where you grow now do you get do you go into the studio immediately or do you do you have to play a little bit like gina normal person what what happens next because i mean right now you you are an influencer and if i were an advertiser i would be backing you up all the way and pushing you forward (laughs) Uh, i'm hoping to to just get back to work and and put some songs out soon um for musicians soon is is always a long long time <laughs> um because you know the process is really long um like by the time we're putting the song out it's been written for a, a long time you yeah. know so hopefully hopefully soon yeah now do you do you have to go out and find a band like like what i did when i go in the studio i usually have to go hire my musicians so what what about you, do you are you gonna have to hire musicians or do you have a band already in mind I don't know. We're going to have to see. I, I think I want to experiment with, with different processes, and, and I'm definitely open to anything. Yeah, yeah. Any big stage you're dreaming of? New York, 
Do you want to go play in San Francisco, Seattle, Los Angeles, maybe Atlanta? Where where would you like to play? I really just want to play anywhere they'll have me, to be <laughs> honest. <laughs> I'll, I'll take whatever you got. <laughs> I, I got to be honest. The reason why I laugh at that is because I work for a grocery store and we have live music at the bar in a grocery store oh, here in Charlotte, North Carolina. I'm on my way. So, so if I'm, you, come, I'm, come sing at that grocery store, please. No problem. <laughs> because, you know, people love live music. And, and I think that's what's going to be great about watching you grow is that if you've got that passion for live music, then we have the passion to come watch you, to buy those tickets, to buy that merchandise. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's super fun. Now, are are you are thinking along those levels yet when it comes to merchandise, you know, putting it up on the website saying, hey, you can get the Gina T-shirt or you can get this, or you can get that? I haven't thought about that only because I, I don't know if anybody needs like a T-shirt with my face on it. No, just you, stop. <laughs> you stop. You <laughs> stop. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, congratulations for winning NBC's The Voice. I, I, I'm just so proud of you. I was a fan from day one. And, and to see you win is just and, and then to share a conversation with you is is a blessing. Thank you so much. Thank you. You be brilliant today, okay? Thank you, too.